What's up guys, now your boy Bidis Adam Slink, how you that day now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So one of the most asked questions now, see, you people need to start paying attention to Nigeria and what is happening in Nigeria. Many people don't just care. They'll just wake up in the morning, go outside, that sachet of milk they bought 50 naira yesterday automatically becomes 100 naira today. They will just say, ah, why now? Take. They will find that 100 naira, buy, go home. Wake up again the next day. That chance to make the bought 100 naira previously now becomes 150. They just pay and keep crying and murmuring. They do not ask questions. They do not seek for information why that milk continuously keeps going up. They don't care. Nigerians don't care enough, honestly speaking. They just they used to the suffering and continuous increase of commodity. Now, what we have, what the, one of the most asked questions now is, how come our Dangote refinery fuel is costlier than those fuel they are importing? How come Dangote Opal refinery, Dangote said the other time, what would be a statement? He said, He's 70 years, he's, he's approaching 70 Abi, that he doesn't know, that he's not taking industry uh, uh, refinery with him to the other place. He's doing it for the people. Chama, your fuel is way more expensive than the one they are importing. There is something somewhere. There is something somewhere, something somewhere. Like, where is the, all the cry for all those ones? Hmm? Well, very dark man have to be very, very, very careful because very dark man is accusing Dangote of being a monopoly. He said Dangote is the strongest monopoly in Nigeria. That he has a lot of documents to prove that Dangote is sabotaging Nigeria. And that this way will never come down. But when he released this document, <laughs> what will happen? No. We're very dark man. I'm here to support you and tell you. Release them, not in the apple. Since you are the one that has the information, release them. Release them, we are fully behind you. Release all the documents. I'm searching for the video, guys, so that uh, you guys will see what very dark man said. All right, so don't go take on shock, Unabi. Now, let me explain something. So, currently, Dangote fuel will be sold at 1,019 Naira in Borono, 999 Naira in, in Kaduna, 992 Naira in Abuja, 980 in Rivers, 960 in Oyo, 950 in Lagos. NPC reviews. Now, uh, initially, you people thought he was the Messiah. Now, if you remember, I posted a video recently. I said, me, I have documents. But I can't post those documents, right? Because I know what I saw in what I saw. Do you understand? It is not in my place. But let me tell you the first problem that the Messiah had with uh, NMPC. You know why, I call, why I'm calling him the Messiah? Because a lot of you actually thought that he was the one that will come and rescue us. It's the finery we turned for a price to 300 Naira. Do you understand? I was in that position too. Until I saw what I saw, I was like, wait a minute. This man and the Messiah at the end of the day, this man is trying to actually make more money for himself because he is not the Messiah. Now, based on what I saw, when Messiah was building a refinery, they allegedly gave Messiah crude. Messiah requested that, okay, you people will give me crude. Free crude, let me test my refinery. Since I'm doing it, I need crude to test the refinery to be sure of the kind of product I will be giving Nigerians. The president then signed that, okay, Ace, you people should give him crude oil in order to test his refinery since this is the benefit for all of us in Nigeria, right? When they gave the Messiah crude, do you know what Messiah allegedly used the crude to do? Messiah allegedly exported those crude outside and made more money for himself. That's what the Messiah did. 
He exported everything. He made more money there. He locked. And NPC found out. It's that way too. The crude oil they give you, you are supposed to use it here in Nigeria. Why are you exporting it outside and refining and refining it and making more money? Bring it back and make more money. Why? It became a problem. Benzaya came out and started dropping one or two secrets. Nigerians start with a jump. They say, ah, Nigerians. Da, 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 da. But you know, people like me that have seen something. And you know this country now. We don't learn from the likes of Pido. You understand? You see this country now. When you don't drop all the things that you need to drop for this Mumu Mumu Nigerians, whether you could come stand for your bag, they will stand for those of you who want to listen to him, go on and uh, check uh, his uh, page. Of course, you're going to listen to the rest of the story. Well, may they not blame Nigerians. You know why? Nigerians are in a crossroad. They do not know who and who to trust. They don't know Messiah. When they see Messiah, they don't know Messiah. When they see devil, they don't know the devil and devil. So everybody now that can come out to say, hey, I'm trying to help this country, is automatically a Messiah to us. We automatically support him. That is the beauty of Nigeria. But then again, they kind of like misuse our trust. It's not our fault. We are desperate. We are desperate for somebody to at least, eh, at least eh, have the goodness of Nigeria in Esau Haman. Eh? Now, we do not know why the crude oil is like this. Somebody needs to explain to us plain English. Plain English. And don't forget, they were subsidizing in that time. We don't know how much they subsidized. Somebody from all those agencies, all those agencies, NAPC, need to explain to Nigeria in plain English with honesty. Ah, honesty now, which you know we'll ever find there anyway. <laughs> because if I say honesty, honesty, me self, I just laugh myself. But then again, because somebody cannot just come and explain and we're going to believe. We need somebody from the from the agency, not even somebody from the agency. All those people in charge to have this clean mind eh, towards the betterment of Nigeria. Our cabas, our leaders are big because obviously an individual cannot do it alone, and no man from anywhere, be it very dark man, be it show or no man can say something and people are going to believe it or people are going to take it seriously. So, I don't talk and say at this moment, eh, all we just need to do is beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. Why can't somebody just have this clean mind, cabals come together and say, let us make Nigeria great? Let us just come together and say, let us make Nigeria great. Those outside uh, interference, let us shift them out. Let's make Nigeria great. <laughs> because an ordinary person, well, well, you see, it as strong as it, as it is. An ordinary person cannot just come out and say, okay, Dan Gote acted as if he's the Messiah, but it's not the Messiah. He's trying to siphon money. Nigeria will not see, take that person seriously. How many people they listen to a very dark man? How many persons they revolt? None. Nobody. Nobody. Huh? The battle between NAPC and Dangote, we already thought NAPC is fully against Dangote, and Nigeria even thinks that NAPC are to blame. We need to know how much Dangote they buy crude oil from Nigeria first. Let us know how much Dangote they buy crude oil from Nigeria. That is one thing. How much Nigeria has made from Dangote crude oil? Hmm? Selling crude oil to Dangote, we need to know how much he don't make. Hmm? Nigeria has made selling crude oil to Dangote. Then we need to know how many products Dangote they get from that crude oil. And how they sell them. Then we also need to know the uh, profit. Genuine profit, so I'm not talking about uh, uh, profit that they have already inflated or do some certain touches to it. But then again, if you are hoping to get such information, eh, you will hope.
forever. In Nigeria. We are just keep shouting, hey this, hey that, hey this, hey that. But none of us up to today know how much, how much quantity of crude oil, how much uh, or, or crude oil Dangote have received from the federal government. So please, to all the cabas, eh, at least, eh, make it look sweet for us. At least just for once, I beg, I beg, let go of all those money mongers and everything. That would take speech as at that time, make me happy. Say, be 70 years old, my spirit was lifted. But now, the price of fuel commerce is way more expensive than the one we are importing. Ah, my spirit just go dancing. Which kind thing be this? But then again, though, <laughs> it's only God that knows. But thank you guys for watching. Boy, get Adam's link. Catch you next time. Peace.